Exploring the Wild, Understanding Puma's Territory. Hello and welcome. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of language, focusing on the phrase, Puma's Territory. This expression is not just about geography, it's about understanding context, culture, and the animal kingdom. Stay with us as we unravel the layers of meaning behind this intriguing phrase. When we talk about Puma's territory, we are referring to the physical area or region where a Puma, also known as a mountain lion or a cougar, lives and hunts. This territory is marked and defended by the Puma against other Pumas or predators. It's a space where the Puma feels safe, where it can find food, and where it can raise its young. The concept of territory is vital in the animal kingdom, as it relates to survival and natural behavior. Moving beyond the literal, the phrase, Puma's territory, can also have a figurative or symbolic meaning in English. It can describe a situation where a person is in a domain or area they are very familiar with and where they hold some authority or expertise. For instance, if a mathematician is solving complex equations, you might say they are in their Puma's territory. It's a way of acknowledging someone's strengths and comfort zones. In different cultures and contexts, the phrase, Puma's territory, might be used in various ways. In business, for example, it could refer to a market dominated by a particular company. In sports, it might describe the home ground of a team named Pumas. Understanding the context is crucial, as the meaning can shift dramatically based on the situation. The phrase, Puma's territory, is a fascinating example of how language can be both literal and symbolic. Whether discussing the animal kingdom or human expertise, this phrase enriches our conversations, adding depth and nuance. We hope this exploration has been enlightening and that you now feel more comfortable navigating the wild terrains of language. Until next time, keep exploring and expanding your linguistic territories.